Does everybody know what time it is? Tool time! That's right, Ben for Tools is proud to present Space Rogue. That's right, it's tool time again. But before we get to the tools, we'd like to take this opportunity to point out that we're looking for a sponsor for Tool Time. So if you want to be H&N's Binford Tools, contact sales at hackernews.com. And if you have access to Pamela Anderson to reshoot the intro for us, Tan definitely wants to hear from you. Seriously though, we are looking for a Tool Time sponsor. If you're interested, let us know. On to the tools. As usual, there are a bunch this week. Cubes Alpha 3 is out. You still need a honking box and you can't run Windows apps. But if you want to be an early adopter of what has to be the most secure approach to an operating system since Multix, the Alpha 3 release of Cubes adds support, 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 adds support for the long-awaited, fast-booting, disposable virtual machine. This support also includes dynamic memory balancing and a redesign to a good chunk of the networking. Get it at cubes-os.org. Snort version 2.9.0 has been released and is available for download at snort.org. Snort is an open source intrusion detection system that comes highly recommended by us here at HNN. The most notable feature for this release seems to be the use of DAQ, which supports a fairly long list of packet access methods. So if libpcap has been holding you back from giving Snort a try, welcome to the pig pen. Huge apologies to Brian Carrier for not following sleuthkit.org more closely over our time doing HNN cast. He's been busy on his open source end case killer this whole time. Back when at stake existed, Brian extended Dan Farmer and White's Venomous Coroner's Toolkit, or TCT, to include support for Windows-based file systems. He called this the Sleuth Kit and extended it with a GUI he called Autopsy. So as recently as September 18th, the Sleuth Kit version 3.2.0 Beta 1 was announced. If you're interested in forensics at all, check out sleuthkit.org for the Sleuth Kit autopsy browser, and just a treasure trove of great information in that area. Also for the forensics crowd, where SleuthKit and Autopsy do file system forensics, Explico is for network forensics. Version 0.6.0 includes bug fixes, dissector improvements, and new features. It will now dissect IRC, ARP, RAP, RadioTap, Telnet, and PalTalk Express. It's no net witness, but it's free and it has a GUI. Check it out at explico.org today. Padbuster is a utility that leverages the padding oracle attack against ASP.NET sites to brute force download of the web config file. This is the file with all the stuff the site admin doesn't want you to see in it, including database connection strings. Minded Security has the proof of concept and a video of the POC in action up on their blog. And it's nice to see that Microsoft is in lockstep with the issue as well, releasing the Microsoft Web Application Configuration Analyzer, or WACA. Version 1.0. It analyzes server configs for best practices related to Windows, IIS, ASP.NET, and MS SQL. Wacket is up at Microsoft Downloads today. Along these same lines, someone other than Cisco, namely FROP over at PacketFault.org, has released a Cisco iOS configuration security assessment tool called Router Defense. It was released at BrewCon and focuses on checking for best practices in your iOS config. It's available for download at code.google.com today. We'd like to end out this week telling you that the hacker's choice has updated Hydra to version 5.8, but their web server is down. Version 5.8 is supposed to fix the SSL option and add support for the Apple filing protocol. Maybe freeworld.tch.org will be back up by the time you see this. As a closing note, URLs to get all the tools or press releases on the tools are all up as part of every episode we post to our website. Check the comment section of any episode's post for the URLs, not just to the tools, but for all the URLs citing all the source material for all our news stories. It's in the comments. That's it for this week's Tool Time. Join us next week for our salute to Tool Time.